Here it is, kids. What you've been waiting for. Farmer Kevin's Corner. Thanks, Ollie. How's it going? I'm Farmer Kevin, and welcome to my corner. You know, that reminds me of something. Have you ever been scared? Like, really scared. Like, so scared that maybe you peed your pants a little. I haven't either. <laughs> but it's okay. You can tell me. I'm here to listen. What? What the? <laughs> Mr. Shivers? <laughs> what are you doing up there? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> you climbed up there, got stuck, and now you're scared? <laughs> so scared, in fact, that you peed? <laughs> but you're unapologetic about it because you were climbing up there to pee on me anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Shivers. <laughs> you know, you really should get down from there. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. <laughs> you know, kids, that reminds me of something else. Have you ever been let down by somebody? Similar to the way that Mr. Shivers was just let down by that tree branch just now. He trusted that tree branch and, well, he got hurt real bad. I was once let down by a show called Donkey Ali and we're gonna learn all about it on today's episode. That reminds me of something. I have been afraid. I've been afraid every single time I've watched this show. Afraid enough to, to pee myself, but just a little, just a little tiny pee, just a little squirt. So little that I, I don't even have to change my underwear. Don't worry about it. My underwear's clean. Today, we're gonna see what this new Donkey Ali storyline is all about. And while you guys watch that, Mr. Shivers is gonna dangle a toy spider over me and I'm gonna, well, that's a story for another day. Over to you, regular Kevin. Wow, thanks, Farmer Kevin. Well, today we are going to take a look at another spooky night adventure. Last time we checked out episode nine of Donkey Ali. It had a great ending. The problem with that great ending is it happened right in the middle of the episode, but I didn't feel like making you guys suffer the way I have suffered. So today we're gonna finish that episode. So uh, take it away, Mr. Narrator. That was a great adventure. And I have another story, just as good, but to tell it right, I'll need a little help. From Jesus? An angel? Welcome everybody to another show. That's right, this new story starts off, of course, with a song and a grandmother angel singing it to us. It's like a brand new Donkey Ali theme song, but uh, this one's got some surprises. A Donkey Ali adventure. Wow, we're going to Rome now. This is like a new release of Assassin's Creed. Where are we going next time? We're going to Rome. We got lessons to learn. Spine tingling chills. Spine tingling chills. Well, at least they know that this is a Halloween episode. Yes, I love the singing in the show. This may be an American Idol winner. I'm not quite sure, but golly gee, this is exactly what I'm here for. Spinning around and around and around and around. Hello, cloud people. And sure, you may have thought that, hey, that that's the perfect place to end a song, right? <laughs> well, if it's one thing we've learned from this franchise, it's that they do not know when to quit. Say hello to your old friends. I meet the new. Well, you got Rupert the Raven. Jesus. He's dead now. You meet Hannibal the Great. Hannibal Lecter, baby. Well, you Wow, what spoilers come next? Also, who's Nero? Nero! Do they mean Nero? And if that is true, are we gonna get to see Jehu on a spit burning alive like a torch?
<laughs> Ooh, glory. Glory, hallelujah. All right, Mr. Narrator, take us into that story. Hi, friends. Oh, he chopped off the tip of his staff. I guess he converted. Well, a lot has happened since Ali, Jehu, and Rupert returned from Egypt with the missing Israeli children. Wonderful things. All things that were far more interesting than what we're going to tell you about today. Jehu has settled down with his wife Alondra at his own farm with Ali. That's when we learn that this new farm comes with its own set of conflict. Every night, supplies have been missing from farms all over the land. And Ali has left his brothers to help Jehu find the scoundrel who's been stealing these supplies. Whoa, Jehu grew up. Hello. Ollie, Ollie, where are you? <coughs> Out in the menagerie, yeah. hurry. Over here, look. Look at this, look at this new animation. The inside of his ears look better, which is all I'm looking for in a quality kid show. This is where the bandits have been sneaking in, but I'll bet it isn't who you think it is. What do you mean? It's not the black horses like you thought. <laughs> look, hoof prints in the dirt. There were two sets of footprints, but now there's only one. Those were the times that Donkey Jesus carried me. Well, they look a lot bigger than mine. Well, you know what they say about a big hoof print. You mean the bandits are animals? Come on, Ollie. Even animals are better than to steal. Despite the fact that there are all kinds of evil animals who can talk and sing and dance and rap, one that can steal? <laughs> Are you insane, Donkey Ali? That would never happen. You know, I wonder if, is this the soft bigotry of low expectations that people are always talking about on the internet? Well, let's go get Rupert and lay a trap. We'll have to catch these varmints right in the ass. Ali goes off into the hills surrounding the farm, looking for Rupert. Rupert! Auntie M, Auntie M, I think a tornado is coming. Why is it so windy? Is this a horse of a different color? Rupert, where are you? Don't, just let him be gone. That's when Rupert comes down from the sky. You know, they had a great opportunity to get rid of a terrible character, and yet they have to bring him back. What do you do in movie, show, TV show, get internet, you know what? You know, I, I think the implementation of the pan flute has really enhanced the show. Over here! I heard you all the way on the other side of the valley! <laughs> That's how annoying and stupid your voice is. Say, we've had a problem with thieves. Jehu wants to know if you could spend the night and keep a lookout. Maybe we could find out who's been stealing the food and supplies from our barn. Sure. Do you mind if I eat over at your place? All that flying made me hungry. Not at all. Hop on, I'll take you over there. Who do you think has been stealing from the farm? Well, don't think about it too long because the show's going to tell you right now. That's when we are introduced to these bad guys. Zinbad, Longfellow, and Whipper. Whipper good. Longfellow, are you sure when you pulled that heist the other night you swept up all your tracks with your tail? I did just like you showed me, Sinbad. Well, someone has grown careless. Was it you, Whipper? Mm -hmm. Well, it better not be, or there'll be a price on your head. What about those three donkeys from Farmer John's farm? They wanted to join up with us. Isa, Jeremy, and Esau? I don't know if they can really be trusted. They lived with their humans quite a while. Miles away, Jeremy, Isa, and Esau talk about running off with a herd of outlaw donkeys. We should run off with a herd of outlaw donkeys. I'll be honest, I, I really think Mr. Narrator is doing a lot of the heavy lifting on this episode. Well, I for one am tired of eating straw and doing all this work for nothing. But Uncle John has been good to us. Uncle John? I thought his name was Farmer John. Wait, did Uncle John marry their aunt? <gasps> Ugh. Look, we even got our own stable. That's just to keep us fresh for more free labor. Well, that's when Donkey Ali's brothers get into a very, very interesting and deep conversation about the ethical ramifications of livestock. And if the labor that they're giving Farmer John is really, actually, slavery. Farmer John's stealing from us. We work every day for five years, and what have we got? You know, for the children. <laughs> These are the things kids need to be thinking about. You can learn all about my theory of labor value in my new book, Das Kappa Tail on the Donkey. Ah! I say we ditch this place and join up with the gang. We'd be free and do what we want. He said we'd all have to go through initiation to see if we were worthy to join their gang. Well, it can't be too bad. What do you think he'd want us to do? Bong! What do you think they're gonna make Donkey Ali's brothers do? Leave your guesses in the comments below. But 
keep it clean, okay? It's a Christian channel after all. Well, maybe you are right. Yeah, well, I mean, we are sentient and we can talk and people can understand us sometimes. I mean, this is quite the moral conundrum that would be extremely applicable in our real lives. If, of course, we were actually in a universe where animals could talk and could reason like humans, but guess what? We're not! Why are they wasting their time talking about this? It doesn't make any sense! They're donkeys! What's the deal with donkeys? I don't understand. Why? Uh, you know, it is Donkey Ali, after all. You have to prove you'll be more loyal to us than to your own family. We need you to bring us three bags of food from your barn. You want us to steal from Farmer John? It's not stealing. He owes us a lot more than yeah. that. Yeah! Just look at his payback time. Sure, we'll do it. Look, you want to be free? You're either in or out. It's song time, baby. It's song time again. Tell me, tell me, tell me. That ass, am I right? Oh, yeah. You're either this would convince me. I would be in, 100%. I would be all in. All up in that donkey. We steal here and there. That's it, that's an admission of guilt. FBI, open up! Don't worry either way. This is what it would be like if I was in. I'm sure you won't get caught. You're gonna learn a lot. Well, after a long, boring song and a little bit of prancing, Donkey Ollie's brothers decide to join the gang. Well, maybe you are right. Don't worry, Whipper. We'll be there. We'll talk Esau into it. Good. I'll tell you one thing. Ollie wouldn't like it one bit. Yeah, but Ollie's already free. It's nothing for him. Wait, is that how it works? Has Donkey Ali enslaved his brothers? I didn't even know that. You know, the way they choose to give us important information really has my head reeling. I could be wrong, <laughs> but I think Ollie's brothers are about to get into a lot of trouble. Yeah. Hi there. Oh, it's no. It's that time again. How? dare you? You give us a satisfying ending, then you start a whole new story, then you give us another cliffhanger? I mean, we're sitting here wondering, are they gonna join the gang? Are Donkey Ali's brothers gonna get caught? What is Rupert eating over at Jehu's house? I mean, clearly that was important because you spent enough time talking about it. Do you mind if I eat over at your place? And then you cut us off with Farmer John's Corner. This is why everybody hates Farmer John. Take it away, Farmer John. Yes, Farmer John. Take it away. Take away all happiness and joy that we could ever feel in our life ever. Thanks a lot, Farmer John. It's hard not to do what others are doing, especially if you know it's wrong. And especially if they're calling you names like Frady Cat or Chicken. Or Fatso. But it's important to keep on doing what you think is right. It's important to live your truth, kids. That's what I'm saying. Even if they say they're not gonna play with you anymore. Even if they say you can't live within a mile of an elementary school. It's hard. Well, that's when we see that Mr. Shivers Play is good. being a bully again. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Shivers, what? Oh. What are we gonna do with them? <sighs> Mr. Butthole. Not you too. You and the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Budinsky, what are you doing? I thought we were friends. And that's when we learn that Mr. Butthole is being negatively influenced by Mr. Fissures, which is, uh, I, you know what? I'm not gonna talk about that. Mr. Shivers said it'd be funny and that you would laugh and... Sorry. I didn't realize you had literally no sense of humor, Farmer John. I'm sorry that your problems are now my problems. Thank you. Oh. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean anything by it. You knew it wasn't a nice thing to do, didn't you? I thought the rules might be different out here. You're right. Things are a little different out here. Like the age of consent, for example. Stealing and, and being mean to other people is, is never right. If you think it's wrong, then you shouldn't let anybody, not even a friend, bully you into doing it. Wow, Mr. Butthole just learned a big gaping lesson. Here. I picked these for you. For me? Yeah. Thank you, Farmer John. I need a bucket. Mr. Butthole. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another episode of Donkey Ali. And what a 
fun-filled episode that was. We finally got the chariot race. We finally got children freed from Egypt. Then we started a whole new series, a whole new story after a lot of floundering, it felt. More floundering than that episode that they had that was under the water. We finally got a pretty slam-packed episode extra long i mean this was like 28 minutes and 31 seconds this oh they must have gotten pressure to to make it broadcast length the perfect length for airing on Christian television. That's it, that's the episode. Guys, thank you so much for joining. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and uh, just hang out with me. Be my friend, even if I don't release my videos consistently, I always do high quality videos and we always watch Donkey Ollie every year. So uh, come back next year, good night. It's hard.